Uh, your first road trip with the ball club, it was a long one, about 17 or 18 days. What was it like? Uh, it was definitely a learning experience. Um, I've always, you know, not always, I've been on road trips before, and, uh, you know, they're usually about a week long tops. So being away for two, two plus weeks, you know, it was definitely different. And uh, the distance traveling was also pretty tough to do. But, uh, you know, all in all, it was a good trip. It's a great way for the team to, uh, to bond, to, uh, to get to know one another. Like Highland <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, but uh, but no, I mean it's it's one of those things that you get just got to do and get through, and so uh, yeah, kind of take it for what it is. You uh, are coming into a league where you don't know anybody particularly. You didn't know the pitching, you didn't know the ballparks. What was that experience like? Um, it's it's been all right. I uh, you know it's it's kind of the same way as it is with a minor league ball. There's a lot of different guys playing, and you're not going to know everybody. You're not going to have scouting reports on on guys, so. Uh, you really do a lot of your learning kind of on the fly. You watch the pitchers between innings, and you kind of get to the stadium early and kind of see the park and kind of walk around and kind of get a feel for it all and just kind of soak it all in. So a lot of it kind of takes place on the fly. So uh, there hasn't really been a whole lot of difference between that and minor league ball. Um, with the weather that you got throughout that trip, how tough was it not to have very many batting practices? Uh, well, for me personally, it's not that tough. Um, I mean, batting practice is important at all. But uh, for me, I, I get a lot of my stuff taken care of in the cage, and that's where I usually work out my kinks, and that's usually where I work on a lot of things. So uh, batting practice is nice. You can kind of, like, see the ball with the backdrop and everything there and kind of take ground balls on the field. So all that is important. But, uh, yeah, uh, as long as there's a good cage to hit in, you know, that's, that's what's most important for me. A lot of fans don't know you. Who's Aaron Baker? Where did you come from, and uh, how did you get to here? Uh, well, uh, I'll go and do a full introduction. My name's Aaron Baker. Uh, home is uh, Ditton, Texas. It's a suburb of the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, 27 years old, 27 and a half, male. Um, no, uh, single. I, yes, single. Um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I like to have fun. Um, whether it's at the park, on the field, in the clubhouse, away from the park, family, friends. You know, I like to have fun. I like, like to smile. I'm a Texan. I got that that southern hospitality in me. So uh, you know, I'll two step a little here and there, whether I have a dancing partner or not. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of do kind of my own a little bit. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I ended up here because uh, I didn't play last year, and uh, I was you know kind of unsure if I was going to get back into baseball or not. And uh, you know, just one day I decided to start working out of a younger brother. He's uh, in the Colorado Rockies organization currently right now. And uh, the first day I went to go work out with him, hitting the cage, he, uh, not he, I, I received a phone call from Tom. And uh, he was asking me if I'd be, you know, curious or thinking about getting back into baseball again. And I told him, I was like, well, today's actually the first day I was going to see if, if baseball would kind of be in the cards again. So I kind of took that as a sign. And uh, it's like once I heard from Tom, started hearing from other teams in the league, and uh, ultimately, you know, kind of keep your fingers crossed here from uh, an affiliated club in baseball. But, uh, you know, this is a good way to kind of get my name back out there. And, uh, and who knows? You never know what can happen. Go out, play well, and just go and, go and have fun. Speaking of fun, how do you like Winnipeg? I like Winnipeg. I've enjoyed it so far. Um, you know, uh, Ditton is uh, it's, it's a pretty good-sized town. I mean, nothing quite like this. So, uh, and I grew up on a ranch, a lot of property and stuff. So, uh, been on like four wheelers, you know, you name it, any kind of vehicle I've been on. So, uh, you know, being in the middle of Winnipeg with all these, you know, bigger buildings around, you know, it's uh, it's different. Yeah, but this isn't Dallas. No, it's, it's not Dallas. You know, Dallas, Dallas is on a whole another level. But uh, you know, I go to Dallas every once in a while. It's it's tough to get there with the traffic and all. And uh, it is. Isn't yeah, it? and I'm. I'm a I'm a very laid back kind of guy, so I'm I'm perfectly happy and content just kind of staying in and and taking things easy. So uh, you know, kind of being you know in a more city like atmosphere is uh, it's a little bit of a different pace for me. So uh, yeah, but uh, at the same time, it's it's interesting, it's fun. I'm enjoying it and just soaking it in, a little Texas boy taking it in in the big city. Welcome to Winnipeg. Thank you. Thanks for having me.